In this video, let's learn how to use On One No Noise AI alongside PhotoRaw 2021. So inside of PhotoRaw, I have this image that I'm working on and I can see I have quite a bit of noise in the background behind it. To send this image over to No Noise AI, I'm going to make sure the image is selected or I'm in this detail view mode. I can be in this mode here or I can be in my grid view. Just make sure the image is selected. I'm going to right click the image and I'm going to go down here to send to other application. For this to show up here for the send to no noise AI option here to show up, we first need to just choose it in this send to other application section. So let's just choose the application real quick. We'll navigate to the application on our computer, select it, choose open. And now we can edit this photograph inside of no noise. But just to go back and show you that it is in that option now, just right click, go back down, and you'll have that send to on one no noise AI. Now, you only need to open it once, and it will show up down here every time you right click. So let's just choose the send to on one no noise AI option. And I'm actually going to choose this edit original option because I want to I modify that raw original data, and we'll choose edit. And we can see in here that it's doing a great job of removing all of that noise within the photograph, but leaving that detail in this bird here. I don't think I'm going to modify any of the details. I think they look great. So let's just choose done. And I'm going to save this here as a DNG actually, and I'll rename it bird flying. And let's just put it in that same folder that we were working on that no noise folder. I'll just choose save. And now inside of that no noise folder, we have this bird flying DNG with those denoise settings applied to it. Now let's talk about how to send an image over to no noise AI that has different settings and filters applied to it. So inside of Photo Raw, I have just going to apply a quick look to it by heading over to my presets. Let's go in here to some black and white, and let's just add a black and white preset onto the shot. And you can see it's applied that black and white look to the image. And in doing that, we've created non-destructive settings for this photograph that actually live in a sidecar file next to the image in our computer's navigator or finder. Basically, that sidecar file contains all of the editing instructions and metadata information that will create this look whenever we open it up in on one applications that support the editing information that is contained in the sidecar file. So basically, with this bird photograph, we have the original file, but then we have the sidecar file that contains all of the black and white look inside of it. Well, if we were to send this image over to no noise AI, no Noise AI doesn't have black and white filters or those same modifiers built into it, so it can't actually read those files. So what we need to do here to maintain the same look on our No Noise image file is we need to send this image over to No Noise, but we need to send the original, and then we need to sync the settings after we've exported our DNG or TIFF or whatever file that we've exported from No Noise. So if I right click this photograph and I go down to send to on one No Noise AI, I get my edit in No Noise dialog here. And I have these two options. I have edit a copy with settings applied and then I have edit original. Earlier we edited the original but there weren't any settings applied to the photograph so it didn't really matter either way. But now that we have those black and white settings, we want to maintain those settings. Well, with the first option, this is going to apply any of these settings or edits into a copy of this original raw photo with this file format that we can choose. So basically we would lose that original raw data and we would just cook these settings into a copy. And if that's what you're going for, no big deal at all. But I, I just wanna show you how you can send the original and then sync those black and white or whatever settings you have applied later on after you export from no noise. So I'm going to choose edit original and you can see it says edit the original photo, all settings and edits will be reset. 
Now that is because No Noise AI can't read those editing and editing instructions that are inside of that sidecar file. So let's just choose edit here. And it'll open up that image inside of No Noise AI, but we're going to get this warning saying this photo has been edited with another version of an on one application and has settings that are not compatible with this version. You will see the results of your last edit with a compatible version. That's just saying that the sidecar file that is creating that black and white look can't be read inside of No Noise AI because it doesn't have those filters and other settings within it. Uh, no need to worry about this warning. It's just giving you a little update. Don't even worry about it. Just click OK, and then we'll continue on, you know, continue our workflow. We'll denoise the photograph so we can see the noise reduction is working. It's doing a great job of removing that noise in our photo. So let's just choose Done. We can save this photograph as a DNG here, or we can choose a, a different file type. I'm just going to choose DNG, and we'll just save this as no noise 3 DNG. So I'm just going to save that back into the same folder that I was working on. And inside of Photo Raw now, I have that no noise 3 DNG file here. I can select it. I can zoom in, I can see it's removed all of the noise from the photograph. So let's go back into the grid view. Let's select this photograph here, the one with the edits on it. I'll hold down shift and then I'll select the exported photograph from No Noise AI. And then let's just sync these settings here that we've applied to the first image. So I'll just make sure whatever settings I've applied, I have selected here. Let's choose apply. And now it's synced those same settings over to my DNG file with the noiseless bird.